OK, we're going to look at the sample editor in Logic Pro X. I've set up a track to record some guitar, record armed it, and when I play the guitar, I can see I've got level coming in. So we'll record some guitar and then go and play around in the sample editor. Okay, take the track out of record, and we've got a chunk of audio that we've recorded. Play it back, put the volume fader up before we play it back. There we are. The noises you hear are me taking my guitar off. OK, so we've got all these bits of guitar. If I double click on the audio file, this window opens. It shows me the waveform and it has two buttons. One says track, the other says file. If I click on file, it takes me into this audio file. And I've got zoom controls that allow me to zoom in and out on the waveform. And I've got a load of things I can do. If I select a chunk of it and click that speaker, it plays it for me. Here, for example, there's some handling noise between the two chords. Listen. I can select that chunk and from functions, choose silence. You'll see it's rewritten the waveform. And there's now silence there. And if I play from either side of it, I've cleaned up that handling noise. There's actually still a bit in there. So I'll choose that and silence that as well. This is destructive record. This is actually changing the data that's been written to the drive. I can do all sorts of other things in the sample editor. See this bit here? I can select it, choose functions, change gain. Bring it up to... louder, hit it, and it would have made it slightly louder. I can make it significantly louder. I can normalize it. And look how loud it is now. I'm going to undo that, because that's going to be too loud. I could reverse it. I'll undo that. I can even create new sounds from it. If I zoom in on a bit here, I'm going to go right in and I'm going to take just one little chunk. The bit that I've selected, I'm going to say audio file, save selection as. And I'm going to call it guitar bit one. I'm going to hit save and make sure that I've checked add resulting files to project audio. There it is. And I should be able to find it if I go and look in my media library. It should be there. 
show browser. There we go. Right, and here in this project file, I've got this little chunk called guitar bit. If I grab hold of this and drag it into the arrange window, I'm going to mute this track, but on this new guitar track, I've got this little bit of audio. And if I play it, I hear that little sound. I can make this into some kind of rhythmic pattern. I can do all sorts of stuff with it. I can double click on that, which will take me into that editor. I'm going to hide the library again, uh, hide the browser again. Uh, go away, there we go. Right, if I select all of that, go there and hit Apple V, select it all, go there and hit Apple V, select it all, copy, Apple V, select it all. I've made a much longer piece of sound out of that one starting point of a tiny little hit. Okay, don't forget, the sample editor is destructive. You are changing what is on the drive. You're changing the sound you actually recorded.